I'm in a new location now, and as you can hear from my voice, it's awfully reverby in here. So that means that there's a lot of soundproofing to do, unfortunately. But in the meantime, I'm going to just hang out with this awesome Earthquaker pedal and tell you a little bit about now. <laughs> previously posted, I got to see Devon Townsend, which was really, really cool. Other than that, I basically hung out at the Aristides booth and ran around with uh, my head cut off, much like a chicken in the farm. So I got to go pretty much everywhere that I wanted to go, I believe. I visited places like Bare Knuckle Pickups, which was really cool because they had a mayonnaise duvel there, which I really loved. I got to visit... Um, Obviously Aristides and I played as many of their guitars as I could, I took as many videos and pictures as I could. I was a little annoying, I'm sorry Pascal, if I got in the way of people. But it was a really good booth, really, the, the place to be next to the women's bathroom. It was fantastic, it was definitely the place to be. I got to see uh, Mr. Pascal, Mr. Ferdinand, Paul DeMaio, and Timo. And these guys are all, uh, we're all there in terms of the Aristides team. And, and it's great guys, they gave me the opportunity to go this past year and it was absolutely worth it despite the fact that I had to move literally days later and now I've obviously developed some kind of a cold or something like that and this apartment's cold and there's fresh paint and I can't breathe anymore. So uh, it's been a fun time. Bare Knuckle seemed to be a, a, a smaller booth which I was very surprised about because they're with so many different companies and so many people use their pickups um, and, and despite the smaller booth it was crammed with a lot of good stuff. So uh, these are the pickup covers that I took pictures of and I really like the different options. I like seeing them all in one place. I hope that you guys enjoy that picture because I really, I mean, I had a chance to sit down with some really awesome guitars. There was obviously a Aristides at the booth as well, which uh, Jack Cole was playing at some point. <laughs> Jackson, which was uh, the Misha signature one, right? And that was really cool as well. So, so it's really funny, basically, that the bare knuckle booth was not only smaller, but they had an orange amp there. So it's like not no amp modeling, no nothing, just real raw tone. And I remember it sounding very, very good there. So at the Fishman booth, it was laid out really interestingly. It was very white and very clean and pristine and. Uh, when I saw my fellow Canadian, Mr. Devin Townsend, go up on stage, that was it. You know, I have to thank Jacko for dragging me over there because I was kind of like, yeah, should I see Devin? But there's a thing happening. Eh, okay. And that's where I got that footage from, from basically Jacko's doing. So if there's anyone you guys want to thank, if you're a Devin fan, you like that video, go thank Jacko because he's the reason I actually ended up going. Other than that, it was basically chaos. The, the hubbub and the overall anxiety of the show was incessant as soon as you walked in through the doors. Um, this was the craziest and most busy man for me. I've actually lost five to 10 pounds and uh, it's mostly from walking for hours and eating like one or two meals a day, coupled with a bit of booze and you just feel, whoa. So I'm just hanging out now, finally in the new place, not exactly fully moved in, just kind of sparse setup as you can tell. <laughs> So this is basically just a check-in and an update, it's more of a vlog than anything else, and a thank you to Aristides, really, for bringing me to this now, because this was the best one I've ever been to, and, and I might have complained a bit about being sore and tired, but that's the only thing that was really, you know, negative about the experience, everything was positive, I mean, I got to meet Angel Vivaldi, which was fantastic, the guy smells good, he's very well dressed, and he can really play a mean guitar. 
I actually have lots of footage of him playing on the rest of these 070, but the sound is so crap because it's NAM that I figured I can't even post it. It's so good. other than the custom like wall art which is basically what they specialize in every now they bring like pieces and pieces of just basically wall art things you shouldn't really play um, other than that uh, the Schechter booth was as it was the other year filled with the new models of the Keith Merrow and the Jeff Loomis stuff Jeff Loomis's new um, signature with the thing the angles looks really cool by the way and no I didn't get a chance to peep any uh, Tosin Abasi new signature thing I didn't see it there but I did see some swirls, some Steve Vai swirled uh, UVs, which I know are going to be, you know, extremely expensive, basically. You'll be paying through the nose, especially as a Canadian. Good luck with that. I went to the comparison booth, and there I met my buddy Chris, Chris Hiska, who's a fantastic gentleman. And I really dug the, um, the natural ash-bodied guitars. Those things sound really mean. Ash is a really good tone with, hey? Need to review some more guitars with that stuff. And yeah, it was, it was great to see uh, Gabriel there, who, who you know, helped, helped me get this basically a, a year and a bit ago now. And yeah, I, I, overall it was a very good trip. In terms of things that stood out to me, probably just the Aristides booth itself. It was bustling. There was a hell of a lot of people there. Um, I, 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 in terms of what stuff impressed me the most, probably the uh, Strandberg OS Japanese model and, um, I mean, the Aristides 080. I was the very first to play the 080S green one, the very very first 080S outside of the factory as, you know, as, a, as a musician and that felt like a big privilege and, and I really loved the opportunity to play that because I've been wanting an A string for so many years, right? And yeah, uh, I think in terms of closing remarks, expect a couple more reviews. I have that Aristides 070 in the corner looking at me like, come on. And I have uh, the swirled 7-string Ibanez, which I need to do a new review for as well, uh, in this place. And yeah, that's about it for now, YouTube. There's a lot to come. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the NAM coverage that I've submitted so far. There's, you know, I've got my work cut out for me. I'm still moving. I'm sick. i got school to do. But it's all happening. It's all happening. <laughs>